Hi there, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about concatenation within PHP. Now if you've ever come across the word concatenation you'll understand what it means or if you've programmed before you might understand uh, how to concatenate different variables together uh, on, or how to print out things and then concatenate variables in so you can view them uh, in a sentence if you like. Now in PHP it's uh, really really simple. Let's start out by creating just a few variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called day and this is going to be equal to the day of the week. So today it is Thursday and I'm going to create another variable called um, let's say uh, date. Um, and this is just going to be simply equal to the day um, in numerical value. So it's the 31st today. Now, um, down here, if I wanted to say echo out the day and then the date, so eventually I want it to say this. So let's just echo it out so we know what we're doing. Thursday, uh, I could say the date is. Thursday 31, just, just to make things simple. We could uh, eventually faff around with ST, but that would use if statements, which is uh, later on. So the date is Thursday the 31st. This is what we want our program to display. Um, we could, in fact, incorporate the year in as well. So I'm going to say year equals, I'm going to say 2011. Now, the reason I'm doing this is, for example, if it was the year 2000, Oh, in actual fact, it would work. So yeah, okay, we'll keep this as integer data. So the year equals 2011. So we've got a variable called day, we've got a variable called date, and we've got a variable called year. So eventually we want this program to display the date is Thursday the 31st, 2011, but we want it to use these variables rather than um, a predefined uh, set of text that we've written out. So the, the way we do this is we can either use our double quotation marks, which is going to make life a lot easier for us, or we're going to use singles. Now I'm going to use singles at first because it's a lot better for you to learn with single quotation marks, and then you can go ahead and be lazy and use the doubles if you like. So with the single quotation marks, I'm going to start typing the date is okay so I've left a space here on purpose now after the last um, single quotation mark but before the line terminator we want to add a full stop so it's just a single dot uh, on this line then what we need to do is just simply address the uh, variable that we want to echo so this is still all included on the echo line if we put the day here it's still going to echo out day even though we haven't sort of pre put echo in front of it so concatenation just basically means we're joining something on to the string that we're already echoing so the date is day then we want a space so I'm going to concatenate on um, a piece of string data with just a space inside and I'm going to concatenate on as well with another dot date and then I'm going to concatenate on another space so we're using the full stop and then the uh, space here with the um, with the, uh, single quotation marks and then eventually we're going to do year now obviously we don't need to concatenate anything else onto the end of that because that is the end of our line so now we can just preview let's uh, have a look in our browser refresh and you can see that it says the date is Thursday 31st 2011 now what if I was to make a change here so I could say it's Friday the 32nd 2011 I know that's an unrealistic uh, value we'll go for 30 then just so you don't get confused so we could say it's Wednesday okay so it's Wednesday the uh, 30th 2011 let's refresh and you can see that's updated itself again the same with the uh, year um, this can be changed as well and it will just simply update the output so this is the harder but faster way uh, to sort of echo variables within um, string data as well. Obviously we can also echo things onto the end of this. For example, we might do uh, a strong tag and then we might put a strong tag just before here. So the way this is gonna work is we're echoing out um, normal text, a bit of HTML just before we declare this in within the concatenation. Then we have a space, we have the date, we have a space, we have the year, and then we end with ending the HTML. 
so let's refresh and you can see that that's turned bold so this is a the better way to do things but now let's take for the easy way so let's echo the date oh in fact we're using double quotation marks um, now you're going to see how easy it is to do it this way the date is day date year and that's it we don't need to concatenate because we're using variables within a string now you might think that this will output dollar sign year in actual fact if we had single quotation marks you can see what happens you can see that it's literally outputted um, the dollar sign day the dollar sign date the dollar sign year when in actual fact um, we want it to reference this very these very these three variables here so all we do is change these to double quotation marks and you'll see that that magically updates itself and puts the variables in there for you so it's it's totally personal preference like I've explained before single quotation marks are faster concatenation gets you used to looking at complex code and understanding what's outputted where so I'd always recommend using the single quotation marks and the concatenation for each variable so that's basically concatenating within PHP